Hey, hey everyone, welcome. How are you doing? I hope you guys are doing great. So on Wednesdays, it's Wednesday for me, by the way, I don't normally do a uh, video in the morning because I have my live stream later. But uh, today we're doing something a little bit different and I'm, I'm, I need to kind of squeeze it in. So I'm going to add this video. Um, we're talking about armor attack today a little bit. And I want to see what you guys think about it. If you think I should continue or well, continue is kind of the wrong word. If I should start covering uh, this game, start playing it and start uh, making videos and stuff like that. Um, I did a post the other day. I got a lot of positive feedback. Uh, and just so you guys know, I'm not quitting War Robots. That's not the intention. It, this is just to maybe do something different, try a different game um, in case something does happen to War Robots, you know. Anyways, so this is what it looks like. This is their website, okay? Uh, um, and just real quick, um, I just want to kind of look at this. Um, they're saying, uh, they're saying, join us for all-out sci-fi ground warfare. That's what they're saying. But I'm not, I'm not gonna run the, I'm not gonna run the thing. Cause we got some gameplay. I got, it's really basic gameplay, but I've got some gameplay for you. Um, play with anyone, anywhere. So you can play on the computer. Uh, I think they're gonna have emulators. Um, there's definitely Steam. I know there's Android, there's iOS. Uh, looks like you're gonna be able to use controllers. So that's kind of, I don't know, I guess handy. Um, and so what does it say pv pve every map has its own game changing mechanic be it the ever-changing map layout strategically important vantage point or huge ai controlled boss ah so it's so that's interesting so i think it's going to be you know player versus player maybe that's what this is supposed to be player versus player player versus environment right pvp and pve so i think that's what the deal is there's some interesting uh, robots. Uh, they've got these, uh, they look like they're partly biological, like biomechanical. And then we've got straight up like uh, tank like, uh, you know, more classical mech uh, machines. <clears throat> and that's about it. That's about it there. Um, yeah, so the web, the game itself today is not up. Uh, they are updating it, so I don't have, uh, I can't, I can't actually go into it and poke around and show you guys things. But I do have some um, initial, like when I, I'm at, I'm at like level two or something, so it's like nothing. And I think I'm just playing against bots and like I'm playing against people. Uh, but I got a couple games, maybe there's three. And they're not that long. I think they're like six minutes at the most. So I've got three games and some kind of um, like some some initial not even really setup, but it's just, you know, me looking at uh, various pieces of equipment, the robot and stuff like that. And uh, I think with that, uh, let's jump into it. OK, but before we get into the games, I've got some really cool animations here of some of the weapons. Uh, I don't know all the names yet, so uh, we're just gonna have to kind of figure this out as we go. I literally just picked this, uh, downloaded it like on, was it Sunday? So I don't have a whole lot uh, to share with you guys yet in terms of actual solid information. Uh, it's just some really cool animations. Maybe a little too overly complicated. And then we're going to jump into the game itself. And here is my little paladin. Um, just kind of looking at it. Uh, this is a pulsar up top. This is about upgrading it. So I don't have any uh, of the upgrade currency. Once again, I don't know what everything's called yet. Um, here is the upgrade uh, path for the robot. And once again, I don't have any currency, even though I think I have plenty of, uh, I don't know what you want to call it. Uh, it's like silver, uh, that top number up here. 
the, the 900 million or 9 billion or whatever that number is, I think I can buy uh, the upgrade currency and, and start upgrading things. But I didn't really realize that until uh, just yesterday. And then the game went offline, so <laughs> I couldn't do it. Anyways, uh, just checking this stuff out. And uh, I need to level up to rank three in order to, this is this is some of the settings. I have it set on high graphics and it's a uh, 30 FPS right now. You can see in the left hand top of the screen, it shows the uh, uh, FPS while we're playing. And then this is like, uh, I guess my, uh, my progress and I'm at level two and I, you know, so once I get to level three, I'll be able to open up another uh, hangar spot. All right, then we're going to jump into a Beacon Rush game. And like I said, I think we're battling bots. So, uh, you know, it, it's not that difficult. Uh, the weird thing is, though, so in this game, the uh, cursor, not the cursor, but the reticle for your weapons uh, does not automatically lock and I didn't really understand uh, you know I've been playing robot war robots for so long that um, you know how it it automatically locks onto a person and this was really strange because it didn't do anything like that so and they have these little weird little walkways I think that was kind of cool um, and I, so I'm getting the beacon because you know I'm a beacon guy tells you that your beacon is captured and you have to look up and down with your you know I'm playing on my phone so using my thumb I have to go up and down to uh, get like be able to aim and I didn't really realize that at the time so I eventually I kind of figured it out but it still took me a, a little bit to get used to but we're gonna take out this I think it's called a creeper uh, and they always blow up with like this uh, kind of acid cloud um, let's see here we're gonna go over here well maybe not I don't know where we're gonna go and I don't even know notice you know if you guys uh, noticed but on the right hand side you'll see it later towards the end of this battle there is a gigantic uh, mechanized uh, I guess it's a robot um, it's a mech I guess we'll just call it and uh, it's like the boss for the stage so this is a must be this must be a pve mode and that was my shield you just saw there so this bot has a shield all right we got that other beacon over there so i'm gonna go back this way and you know we got a little map there in the left upper corner so you can kind of see where you are on the map see where the beacons are see where your uh, enemies are and your teammates are okay so uh, I've got lots of kills so far oh in our ammo so our health uh, we have a shield and then we have our HP which, which is right below you can see that right there and then to the right of that is our our uh, ammunition and if you see the uh there's like a a little uh looks like a, a bullet with a the arrow around it that is a reload button guys a reload button oh so there the boss looks like the boss has activated uh it looks like it's called sentinel prime so he's got rockets and he's got other kind of weapons and for whatever reason, he doesn't really shoot at me. This guy's shooting at me, though, so we'll blow him up. Um, yeah, and I think these little uh, red spots are uh, like uh, predetermined uh, places where he, his rockets go when he shoots his rockets. And then he's got this big beam. Looks like a hawk beam from, uh, from War Robots. We're like barely doing any damage to him. And he seems like he can heal up. Boss has lost a segment of his durability. Okay. Um, 
But you notice he doesn't ever really shoot at me direct. Oh, well, he's hitting me with these uh, other things. But I got my shield, so we'll use that. Oh, there's a little, there's a little guy there. This little guy. You see, there's me uh, looking all around, not really, you know, realizing I've got to keep uh, that the the aiming, the reticle on the target. Oh, and there we go. We got the victory. So um, I was the MVP, of course, because I'm the only real player there. <laughs> Uh, so anyways, yeah, and my score is like considerably higher than everybody else's. So, uh, this is like when you first start War Robots and they have all those weird people, uh, weird names that you're playing up against. So this is kind of our progress. Here are our rewards. Yeah, it is silver. So I have lots of silver. I can think I can buy upgrade currency. All right, so now we're going to our second game. All right, this is also a beacon rush. I think they're all Beacon Rush. And we're all on the same map. They're all on the same map. Uh, but I wanted to share uh, all three of these games because uh, the first game obviously was the first game. Uh, this game has a really neat um, attack. It's not our attack. We get attacked by it, but it's really cool. And you'll also see that now our uh, reticle actually locks on to the enemies see that uh, it didn't do that in the previous game so that was an update that had made uh, after I had started playing get that guy uh... so here's that thing I wanted to show you guys so this is like this fire I don't know if it's like napalm or something but I thought it was a really cool thing I assume if you walk through it you get damaged um, so I kind of stayed away. I think I do go into it at one point. That guy has a shield too. So that guy is the same. Uh, they have factions. They've got this paladin faction, and then they've got the biomechanical faction, and then there is uh, these tank-like guys. So I think uh, I think my robot type. All the different variations have shields. I think the tanky guy, like the guy we're shooting right now, I think they must have more HP and, and more firepower or something. I haven't quite figured out what's different about everybody. I just haven't had time to spend a whole, uh, you know, a lot of time checking everything out. I got the kill though on that guy, so it's, uh, we don't have a single beacon. Oh, so see here, I got hit with the napalm. They are doing damage to me. You can see that. It's like it has shows a little red, but I walked out of it. I've got my shield. Let's see if we can kill this guy. There we go. We got the kill on that guy. Let's go up and get ourselves a beacon because we don't have any beacons. No one's getting beacons. <laughs> I guess that's what you get when you play with bots, right? <laughs> All right. All right. So we are MVP again. Surprise, surprise. This is how we did. And see, the game only lasted two minutes, just over two minutes. All right, this is the last one, guys. And then I'm gonna end it. You guys need to give me your feedback on what you think. I like this game because this, this uh, enemy just comes rushing at me, so. I do like these uh, little conveyor belt things. Reminds me of when we go to the airport and uh, we can like speed walk. <laughs> so I wish they had this in War Robots because some robots are so slow. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna grab our beacon because we didn't grab any beacons in the last game. All right, we got the beacon. Those guys are already shooting each other. Oh, oh, oh. Here comes that guy. What's it say? Youthful uh, Davinsky or something? He just come. He just comes in right at me. He's like, "I'm gonna get you." So I'm just gonna blow him up. There we go. There we go. We got him. He 
could see here. Beacon B. Beacon B on the wall. So I think it kind of tells you where the beacons are a little bit. Where where are we? Where are we? Where where is every oh oh what's this guy right here? Let's, let's uh shoot him. He's like after that other dude. He's he's after Naughty Swanson. These names are crazy. Who's this guy? Uh, I can't I can't see through my uh lucid wing. What names, man? Alright, Lucky Swanson is running away from zealous uh Chevy Chev? <laughs> he's what is my name? My name's like I don't even know where it is. Uh, I haven't changed my name. I've just got the basic uh you know, like a war robot, it's like pilot, blah, 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 you know, right? So, oh, where did that guy go? He disappeared. But, so this is one of those biomechanical guys. It's like a, a chubby warthog with guns or something. Uh, we got him, though. We got him. Uh, there's another dude there. That Sentinel Prime thing is right there. Oh, where'd he go? Why does this guy keep disappearing? Oh! I wonder if he can teleport or something. I haven't quite figured anything out, to be honest, so... Oh, dude, don't bump into me! So he has different color legs. He's got, like, orange legs and yellow. That guy's got green. I wonder what color... My, I'm purple, I guess. Uh, anyways. <laughs> oh, he came alive! Sentinel Prime. Oh, but we won before uh, it mattered. So anyways, that's that. A uh, pretty quick video. Well, maybe it's not as quick as I thought it would be, but anyways, let me know what you guys think. Do you think we should uh, jump into this more or not? Be nice to one another out there, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye for now.